Hello, my name is Anya and today we are going to learn how to spell our names using binary code. Every time you use the internet to check the weather, watch a YouTube video, or send an email, your device is using binary code. Computers store, process, and communicate information by representing different letters and numbers in binary. Binary numbers work by using a sequence of only the numbers 1 or 0. Now these aren't like regular numbers. The number 1 just means that that digit is on, and the number 0 just means that that digit is off. Now this means different things depending on whether we're trying to code for the numbers or for letters. Let's start with numbers. Each digit will represent a certain value, and the 1 or 0 will tell us whether that value is on or off. Then we add up all the values that are on and we get our normal number. But what are those values? Well, we can read it from right to left. On the right side, the first value is 1. The second digit represents the value 2. The third digit represents the value 4. 8. 16, 32, and 64. Do you see a pattern? Each digit is multiplied by 2. Now let's try this example. We have 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Which values are on? We have 1, 8, and 64 are on because their digit is 1, 1, and 1. The rest of the values, 2, 4, 16, and 32, are represented by the digit 0, and so those are off. Next, we just have to add up the values that are on, and we'll get our number. So we have 1 plus 8 plus 64, which gives us 73. And so, in binary code, the number 73 is represented by the digits 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. The alphabet works in a similar way, but with a couple of extra digits at the beginning of each letter. Now here comes the fun part. We're going to learn how to spell our names using binary code. I'm going to make a necklace using different colored beads for my ones and zeros, but you can be creative and use whatever you want to spell your name. Macaroni, buttons, candy, you just need something to be your ones and something to be your zeros. Now, we don't have to memorize the binary code for each letter. We can check out a chart. Check out the description box in this video and see a chart that we made for you. So my name is Anya, and the binary code that I'm going to have to make is right here. I am going to use a light blue bead for my ones, and a dark blue bead for my zeros. I'm also going to use some green flowers to separate each letter. Let's get started! And there you have it, my name Anya in binary. Don't forget to share your creations with us on social media and tag Science East.